Hey, what's up everyone? How you doing? Today, we are going to work on some stream bot stuff. Who am I? My name is James, and today I am your stream tinkerer. <laughs> some of you know me as Asian Slick Slayer over on Twitch. Uh, I stream Destiny 2 and Call of Duty. Currently, don't have a schedule right now, but you probably can catch me definitely Fridays and Saturdays for, for sure coming in the near future. Today, what we're gonna show and talk about is the mix it up bot and how awesome it is. Why do streamers use bots to make their freaking life easier? They uh, they can automate uh, moderation, you know, to block people or things in chat. They can also, you know, automate commands. So when someone asks you a question, you could just boom, hey, type this in chat. Boom, there's your answer. Or a timer. Or what I love and have set up just now. A, uh, a something that reacts to the start of my stream. We're also today going to answer questions about how to get a timer on your screen. Um, one of my good friends, Invincible, he uh, kept asking me all these streamer questions about how do I do this, how do I do that, and today I'm finally going to answer him. I'm sorry it took so long, my friend, but today I'm going to answer your question about how to get a timer on your stream using mixed up bot there are many other methods but I, I love how mixed up bot has it built in let me go show you what the cool new stuff i have going on that i just made all right so um, um to access like your commands and all that stuff uh just a little tip here three lines in the upper left hand corner boom we're gonna go to events then in here, you can see when something happens in uh, your stream or whatever, you can have an, a command to react to that event, right? So for Twitch, when the Twitch stream starts, two events I have is a Discord message and a timer overlay. If you guys are curious about how to set up a Discord message to specifically uh, message a role rather than at everyone, um, you know, comment below. Say, hey, Slick Slayer, hey, James, how did you do that with the Discord thing? And I'll show you. Today, we're focused on the timer. So there's the timer um, command when I start streaming. And if you notice, there's no way to control it. It just says show hide widget. And then the widget is stream start timer. And then so selects visible. So let's go to our overlay widgets. Now, I'll show you how to make all this here in a second, but I just want to show you my current setup right now. Um, as you can see, I have three widgets here. Let's do the timer one. So when my stream starts up, you can see in this area, this is where you select the time, what it looks like, the position, all that stuff. After 10 minutes, it's going to do a command when it's completed. I think that is so cool that you can automate, you know, a command within the timer. What I love about this is I have, I have a, a, a starting soon screen and the timer will pop up and start counting down. And then while it's doing that, I, I don't have to worry at all that I'm missing the timer or anything. And I have to press my, my intro video or whatever. I go ahead, say you know, I'm live on all my social medias, uh, maybe make sure the stream is running good, make sure the game is updated or whatever, make sure the game's running good, audio is great. Um, as well as maybe get some water or something, something last minute that I didn't think about. And, and that's why I like using the timer. More importantly, I play ads, right? And what this does is allows the the uh, pre-roll ads on my stream to be disabled and pushes back the mid-roll ads too. So for, for my size, I think it's okay that I have a starting soon screen. Some people have argued, hey, maybe you should just go live right when you're scheduled. If people know your schedule, they'll be right there and they won't miss anything. For me, I like to just use that first 10 minutes to clear out the ads. That way people don't get hit with ads um, and, and, and miss a really cool event. Still learning on that stuff, but anyways, with that, enough jibber jabber. Let me go ahead and show you the actual command. Or how, to, how to create the command. I am uh, new to uh, YouTube tutorials, so forgive me. This is all jumbled and stuff. Anyways, so you want to make a timer. We'll make a simple timer 
we'll pretend to link it to a voice right we'll pretend to link it to a voice um if you guys want me to show you a full tutorial on how to set up voice mod to interact with your channel points comment below um, i'm probably gonna make that anyways but this will help me prioritize that video of amongst you know whatever qu other questions you or invincible has <laughs> So on my gaming PC, I have Mix It Up Bot and a OBS Studio um, set up, and it's our it's our blank canvas basically. Also, there may be some alerts that go off. I apologize. Um, I, I have my actual bot going right now, so if it, if it goes off, I apologize. Um, this works with uh, Streamlabs OBS as well because it's a browser source we're gonna make, and I don't know about any other software streaming software but obs studio and streamlabs obs this should work for it first things first let's go ahead and make our browser source so you're gonna go up here right hand corner of your mixed up bot click on the the cog the settings cog and go down to overlays and then you're gonna add your browser source now if you haven't set up mixed up bot or obs studio and need help with that stop by the stream and again comment below and i can make a video for that too a lot of comments i'm asking for i'm just really needy right now we're gonna add our browser source we're gonna call it timer overlay we'll just do that easy easy peasy boom we're gonna click on it copy copy pasta now we're gonna go over to our uh, streaming software and make a browser source um, we'll call it timer. Put in that link there. I like to make all my mixed up browser sources a 1920 by an 80. Clear this out. Oh. And the reason I do that, because you can see I already have a browser source made. Um, the reason I separate my browser sources is so I can control where I want the the source to show up maybe i don't want a timer on my gaming screen or maybe i want my timer on my gaming screen but not on my talking screen you know just chatting screen it allows me a little bit more flexibility without getting too many commands dependent on one browser source to where if i decide to change things up then i have to now go through each command and make sure it has its own browser source it just makes it really clean and nice now that we have that set up um, let's go ahead and make our overlay widget. So we're, again, we'll go to the three lines up in the left hand corner. We'll go to overlay widgets, add overlay widget, and then check it out. Check out all the things that you can probably, you know, you do. You can do chat messages, clip playback, which I'm, I'm curious. I want to mess with this and credits. I want to mess with this as well. Uh, so on and so forth. It's, it's a lot of things that you can actually do. Uh, so I'm going to mess with the timer. Give it on next. We'll call this. Uh, we'll just we'll just mess around and call it the voice timer. Voice timer. We're going to click our timer overlay. We'll just do five seconds. Easy peasy. Um, text color. We'll do cyan. My favorite color is blue. And we'll make it uh, 120 just so you can see it. Up here is where you can select, you know, where you want it on your screen. This is kind of, you know, this is a quick little reference, but it doesn't really get it to where you want if you if you have a very specific area. This just is ger generic. We'll keep it centered. Percentage is really nice. You can control exactly where you want this position to be. Um, and same with the pixels um, without a slider. But I like percentage because it has a nice slider and I, you know, it's very trial, very, very user friendly. We'll keep ours in the center. Um, if you know HTML, you know your style, go ahead and mess with this. This is something I'd like to learn how to do and I don't know yet. And then if you wanted to do a command with your timer, you could do command, you can go advanced. I mean, look at all the things you could do. You can do a command with a command, basically. Uh, but what, say for our voice, for our voice, at the end of the timer, when it counts down to zero, right? We can do uh, hotkeys. You know, press one. You know, press it and 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 shift. 
So that way it automatically, if you uh, set up your voice mod, which I can show you guys how to do in a later video, if you guys liked, comment below. Um, if you're using voice mod, you can have your clear all voices as a hotkey. That way your mix up bot presses the hotkey and now your voice goes back to normal. It's, it's pretty cool. Um, we won't add like a command to this. Um, we won't do any of that. We'll just, we'll just make the timer. Now, let's go ahead and just make a command, right? New command, we have basic chat, basic sound. I have always gone into the advanced command. This is where you can just really go nuts with it. We'll say change voice. We'll do voice as the trigger. Now you can do your command group, uh, name like um, specific groups to you know organize your commands better user permission user you know you can make it only the you know an affiliate a partner a follower can use these commands stuff like that um but within this advanced command now you can layer your one command it's freaking cool so let's do this let's do a chat message right voice has now been uh now been changed for five seconds all right now we'll go and add in um the timer the way to do that is it's the overlay right so you go to overlay type of overlay scroll down to the widget you made voice timer visible all right, go ahead and save that uh, command already exists. Ooh. I think I already made this command. We'll just do voices. Yeah, I already made this command because I was practicing how to teach you guys. <laughs> All right, so let's go to chat. We'll pull up a preview here and let's hope on the first try I can get this going. So let's do voices. Boom. There it is. Now you have a timer set up to interact with your um, stream. <laughs> uh, I hope this all answers your questions. If you guys want me to get more detailed, let me show you. Let me show you real quick if I can while I have your attention. Let me show you my voice setup here, okay? So I go to events, all right? We have Twitch channel points redeemed. Then these are all of the different redemptions. These basically baby voice redemption. This is the reward or the uh, channel point name or channel redemption name, I guess. Uh, baby voice right so when someone clicks on baby voice bot recognizes that and then does this action group okay so let's go to the action group look at all the action groups I have <laughs> I believe for channel points you can actually go to channel points and, and make it here but I have not used that yet I'm still kind of experimenting with it let's go to baby voice I showed you that before Look at this. Look at, look at all that. <laughs> now, what I might do is within the timer that I have made for this, um, I'm going to add a command to basically clear everything out. Because what I have here is I have the you know, announcement of the purchase, uh, picture shows up and everything. And then at the end of here, this last thing here, it says, it turns off the voice. But what I could do is within my timer, within my timer, I could set that up and I won't have to do the whole wait or anything like that. So I don't know, we'll see. Um, I'll probably incorporate that there. But this is how I set up my voices. Um, I could show you guys, I can run you guys through that. Let me know. Also, what's really neat about um, Mix It Up is you can share 
your your commands so um, if you guys want me to share various commands like that one there that i just you know that i made the voice you know interaction um i can make a discord area called like freebies and then it, commands can go into there <laughs> oh man thank you all for listening to me ramble i hope this helped a lot if it didn't join my discord let me help you the best that i can through that join my stream i on twitch also um you know just message me and say hey you know or comment below hey you went a little bit fast or, or, or whatever you know how can i make these videos more helpful for you <laughs> should i make a step-by-step -step script as i'm sort of uh, going off the cuff here <laughs> um I'm hoping to upload one tutorial a week, one news video a week, one clip montage a week, three videos a week, basically. And um, maybe the clip montage could be something from you guys, from the Slick Slayer community. So let me know what your, your thoughts are below in the comments. And hope you all have an awesome time tinkering with your stream i'm not the expert here i'm not your stream professor i'm not your stream doctor i'm not whatever they want to name themselves i'm a simple man i just loves tinkering <laughs> have a good day i'll see you later <laughs>